Okay, so to start off, uh, open your web file in Audacity, which is an audio editing tool, and I'm going to be using uh, Walter.wav. Okay, so after opening Walter.wav, let's listen to the audio first. You might want to hold off. Listen to the audio, the you can see that the hertz value is twenty-two thousand fifty hertz, and for Ocarina of Time, most audio f samples are either. 20,000 Hertz uh, rate or 16,000 Hertz so click on here and then go go down navigate down and use your cursor until you find rate and then go to other click other and uh, put a custom Hertz value of and this for the audio sample that I'm replacing um, I'm going to put a Hertz value of 20,000 Hertz because that's uh, what the value is I'm going to listen to the audio again. You might want to hold off. The audio now sounds uh, a lot slower, so or not a lot, but it's noticeably slower. So now press Control plus A, and then go to Effect, um, Pitch and Tempo, and then uh, change Speed and Pitch, and then. Here you can see speed multiplier. This and then here the window will open up, and you can see speed multiplier. Um, since the audio sounds slower now than in originally, um, let's increase the speed. And then click on, on apply. You might want to hold it off. It's faster. So let's once once more go to effect pitch and tempo, change speed and uh, pitch, and then go to speed multiplier once again, and let's this time reduce it uh, a little bit. But this time, um, let's try like zero point nine, reduce by zero point nine, and let's listen to audio one more time. You might want to hold off. Uh, a lot more like how it sounded uh, before we modified the hertz value so now we're going to export the audio and we're going to use uh, and we're going to use the swap file so i export the WAV file as walter.wav now uh, download the disk for audio.exe if you don't already have it and create uh, a new folder somewhere in your pc then put this for audio.exe and your WAV file, in my case walter.wav, inside that folder and then drag and drop walter.wav onto this for audio.exe and it will create some new files. The two most important ones are the vadpcm.bin file and the config.toml file. The, we won't be using the book.bin file um, for now, maybe after I update the tool, uh, I might find some useful functionality for it, but at the moment not. So yeah, just make sure to preserve uh, the vatpcm.bin and config.toml. So now it's finally time to actually utilize the tool itself. Um, so when, once you open the tool, you're going to, you should notice a pop-up window appear where it asks you to open the so sample audio file so for this um, you need to provide any random uh, any so audio sample file you can extract a uh, audio sample file if you don't already have one um, from ot.otr which so creates um, by using mpq editor uh, you go to you, you open the otr ot.otr file and then you navigate to audio um, folder and then samples folder and then you can extract any of the and then you should be able to extract any of the audio sample folders and use any of them and it should work now if it did work it will create a config.bra file in the same folder as uh, vat pcm to sample.exe uh, and then uh, it will also close the exe file so after it creates the config.bra uh, file, open vatpcm to sample.exe one more time uh, and then you shouldn't see the pop-up again 
of uh, the saw sample audio. Now after you reopen the VATP sample sample.exe file, uh, you should be able to see a button called select the VATP sample.win file. Press the button and then um, go to the folder that has disks for audio.exe and the VAT PCM uh, .bin file and and select the VAT PCM .bin file and then you'll see uh, loop and uh, the loop and loop start and loop count buttons appear and you can modify these um, values now let's say you selected the VAT PCM .bin file and in the folder of the VAT PCM .bin file you didn't have the config.toml file uh, which disks for order to take creates alongside the vatpcm.bin file and if that's the case then you'll get uh, basically an error message in the tool and it will say can't find config.toml file and to also mention that disks for audio generates one uh, when you create um, the vatpcm.bin file so yeah, um, so make sure the config.toml file is in the same folder as your vatpcm.bin file because the loop and the loop start and loop count values are taken from the config.toml file. So it's very important to keep it, um, keep that file. After you select the vatpcm.bin file and you adjust the loop and start and count. Uh, values you can then press the convert button and then uh, convert it to an NSO audio sample now we will be using retro after this tool to import the audio sample into the game properly but in order to do that uh, we need to retro relies on the Pass with the folders being uh, correct to the file. So here, as you can see, I'm creating a new folder, and the first folder you can call it anything. Uh, I'll call it my audio, and then inside that folder, um, you create another folder, and this time uh, you have to call it audio, and then inside of that folder, inside of the audio folder, you create one more folder call, and you call it samples. And then inside of the samples folder, you you save the so audio sample. Um, now, uh, since I'm replacing the adult link uh, falling uh, s sound effect when for like when link falls from a high area, um, I'm going to call the audio sample the same name as that audio sample, and um, and so the name is odd um, is this, and so the name is adult link following one and uh, he has another sound effect that he can play when he falls from my area and it's, it's just called audio link falling too so I'm going to also um, save it as that as well And then after you save your custom Soho Audio sample, open Retro and then navigate to and then click on Create OTR, then click on Custom and choose Select Directory, and then select um, and and then select the root folder of the custom folder you just created um, uh, in the last step. Um, so in in my case the root folder is called my audio, but if you're gonna call it a different name then you're going to select that other folder. But yeah, so you select the root folder, not the folders inside. You select the root folder, um, and in my case my audio, so I select my audio, and then I uh, and then it will make all the files, and it'll show you the files that will get imported, and yeah, then you click on like generate OTR and finalize and whatnot.
we save the audio sample as an OTR file make sure to put in your mods folder in a ship for Kenyan and then you can yeah then you should be good to go <laughs> you might want to hold on